Okay, we're gonna start it again. I've got where I can hope I got the got the breather off now, so yeah, it's looking like crazy. Oh that tube. The tube going from the front to the back of the carburetor. Put that back in there. I'm going to need it again. Probably. Well, maybe not. Terrible video. I know. Okay. I'm just playing with the phone, really. But, uh, I have to use the ladder to get up here. I used to just crawl up the bumper, but not anymore. Okay. So, this right here is looking like a sieve. Oh, look at that. I can turn it, and it's bent. How strange. That's an aluminum tube going from the front to the back of the carburetor. And you have to take the bowls off to get that out of there. There's one on the front and one on the back of this old holly. I bought this brand new back when I first got the truck in 92. It had something similar on it, but it was kind of wore out and not working good. So, I don't believe I'll be doing that today. <coughs> it is nice and cool. <coughs> Could get the bowls off. I've actually been watching a bunch of hot rod, hot rod video, hotrod.com. You know, Motor Trend is who owns it now. Let me put this around there. Ugh. I don't want to get my phone all greasy. My fingers are dirty. So I'll put it in my other hand so I could give myself a video of the back side. Let's see. I use my gloves to wipe my finger a little bit. Okay, let's do that. Just a guess, but of course I can walk around, I can crawl around there, but when you get old, things like this might be helpful, you know. My buddy's taught me to do this. Well, he's he's a big still photographer, and we he, I taught him more how to work on cars, and he taught me how to take pictures along the way, so you can have things to look at to refer to. It really is helpful, and I think videos will be even better. But, uh, it's quite a, I mean, it's leaking like a sieve. I don't guess you can see that. Well, you have that set, but, uh, my little drop light maybe. I might throw the sensor off on the camera. I don't know, but it helps me. i got to be able to see. Uh, so, there it is. That's the problem. I had, I had put bunch of gasket sealer on this because I thought it was this was leaking the last time I worked on it several months ago. Put new hoses on it all the way, all the rubber. Those hoses crack and you need up real bad with this stupid ethanol in the gas. But hoses used to last five, ten years. Now they last a year if you're lucky. I had to get on and do one on top of the gas tank even last time. Killed me. So I bought I bought it from a bolt supply. There's this this rubber hose here's fuel line is supposed to stand up to the ethanol a lot better. Uh, we'll see. That's just same grade as uh, it was the cheapest place I could find to get it, same, and a good or better grade than what you'd get at the local auto supply. So I went and ordered it. <laughs> see see if it lasts any longer because what I've had on there before uh, regular fuel line. It, it, it'll last maybe a year if you're lucky. But and the stuff that's supposed to be a little better last a couple of years maybe. So uh, on this thing anyway, I don't drive it much. Maybe setting all the time has something to do with that too. It does with tires, I know that. The tires will actually do worse setting than they will being driven. 
So, that's enough jabbering. Now I know what's wrong finally after a year or two of not, not, not figuring that out. Alright, Don, stand by. As soon as I slide this thing, I locked it so I wouldn't accidentally turn off the video.